Hello. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sean the Deep Sea Man. So today we are going to see how we clean the first set of filters in the system. FGSS inlet drum, the strainers of the system. They are 10 micron filters. We have two of each. So we can use either both in parallel or one of them individually at a time. So let's understand the flow and then we see how we clean the filters. This is the cargo tank or in this case it's also your fuel tank, so fuel gas supply pump. So that pump is a deep well pump that's mounted inside the tank, a long shaft out, electric motor here. This pump discharges either to the FGSS supply system or it goes back to the tank. After it discharges into the system, it goes into a set of strainers, either number one or number two or both together and then into the inlet drum and then from there into the pump vaporizing unit where we have the cryogenic pumps that raise the pressure from 5 to 6 bar to 380 bar and then pass it through the vaporizer into the gas valve tray. These filters, inlet valve, outlet valve. The filter is here. This is the inlet for nitrogen. So this is a quick coupling here, quick coupling here and a quick coupling here. This one is a valve and that vents out to the mast. So the first step, step one that we do is shut the inlet, shut the outlet, open the vent, the, the line to the vent mast. So we purge out this filter. We are, right now we are doing this filter. So we purge out this filter. Once it's done, we connect a flexible nitrogen hose, open the nitrogen valve, nitrogen comes in, passes through the filter and goes to the mast. Then in between, we open the vent plug of this filter put in our probe and check that the HC content, hydrocarbon content is zero. Once that is zero, ensure that there's no more pressure into the system. And then we can start dismantling and cleaning the filter. And during all of this process, ensure that you guys have your own personal O2 meter with you. This is a two man job. Both the guys doing the job must have this meter because you're using nitrogen. At any point, nitrogen valve could leak and you know, you could have lack of oxygen in the room. It's, it's rare that it's going to happen, but have this meter with you guys. I'm editing this part of the in my cabin, so, and I hope you don't find too much of a mess in my cabin. Straight to the filters in the cargo machinery room, the CMR. Remember the abbreviations, guys. Okay, so we are at the CMR, and I'm just taking off this hose. This is the nitrogen purging hose. I've connected it to the line for venting off, for purging off the filter to the FGSS. Uh, the cargo engineer has opened the vent valve, shut the inlet valve, and now we are opening the valve from the nitrogen generator. So this valve pushes in nitrogen into the filter line. You can see right there. And we've opened the vent valve, the purge valve that goes to the vent. This is the outlet valve of the filter, which is shut right now. So inlet valve shut, outlet valve shut, the nitrogen valve open, and the purge valve of the filter open. So now that's the filter out there. That valve is the purge valve for that particular filter. So we've opened it to check that there's no nitrogen. I'll put my gas probe, the gas meter probe in to confirm that the LEL is 0%. So we'll just take off the plug that's there on this purge valve of the filter. Now we open this valve to see that the nitrogen is coming off. We check the LEL is zero. Once that is okay, I will shut the inlet valve, the inlet nitrogen valve to this line so that there's no more air coming. We just put our hand down there and feel there's no more residual pressure and then the filter is ready to open. Okay, so this is the first that most of you guys are going to see. We are spraying water. Yeah, we are actually spraying water on this filter and the filter body. We got to melt off the ice. It's not a joke. It's absolutely serious. This is how you melt off the ice. And once that ice is all melted off, only then we take off the bolts because this ice, this ice can damage the threads of the bolts if you try to force open it with the bolts on. So please melt this ice off and only then take off the bolts. Now, since we're done, we open the cover flange carefully and show that we're not damaging the filter. So generally in the ballast passage, this is what the garbage that we kind of find. It's like a little bit mud and silt that's there in the tank, nothing serious. The filter is 10 microns, so we got to be a little careful not to damage it. If you're cleaning it, just clean it with water and air or maybe a plastic scraper, that's it. So you see the dust, just washing it off with water and compressed air and that should do this job. So once it's done, we put it back onto the cover flange, insert it back into the body tighten the bolts evenly 
and then let's get back to business. Back to business is what I mean. Yes, we need to put in the nitrogen, purge the filter completely, just check the nitrogen is flowing, shut the valves, put in the plug, and back again, slowly open the ethane valves. This is the intrinsically safe HMI, human and machinery interface in the CMR, discharging from the FGSS pumps into these trainers that we see, into the inlet drum, and then finally to the PVU, the cryogenic pumps. Okay, so back to the screen in the CCR. So I hope you know what you're looking at. So that was pretty much it at the CMR and at the cargo control room. I hope you guys uh, learned quite a bit and uh, got familiar with how we clean these FGSS filters. But ice can damage those threads. So make sure to melt the ice completely and then go ahead with the job. Take care. Bye-bye. The Deep Sea Man out.